In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, we see in today's Gospel how a 84-year-old lady, Mido, night and day was in the temple, Hana, praying and thanking, fasting and praying and praising God. And that's how she was blessed with the grace of seeing the Messiah. My dear friends, and we see about Jesus that he grew in wisdom, in fear of God, and the grace of the Lord was with him. We see the word used is wisdom and not knowledge. Whereas the knowledge is vertical which we can acquire from book. Whereas the wisdom is from the heart. Whereas the knowledge is informative, the wisdom is transformative. Therefore not merely knowledge that Jesus grew but also wisdom. Archbishop Fulton J. Shin Venerable Archbishop Fulton Jason writing about today's education system writes that today's education system instead of uh, making stupid devils is making cleverer devils because unless our education system forms men and women for others who can care for others selflessly then there is no point in amassing knowledge which will teach us how to amass wealth. My dear friends, in today's first reading, St. John told us how the children should increase in divine wisdom and knowledge. Everything there is in the world, disordered bodily desires, disordered desires of the eyes, pride in possession is not from the Father but is from the world. And the world with all its disordered desires is passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. Therefore, for those who do not possess the Spirit of God, everything is okay. With today, the media and technology, everything is available in our fingertips. All that the child need not to require to know about is also available. With the revolution of the media, it's very difficult to remain chaste and pure and holy. Therefore, but we who possess the Spirit of God, we are called to live, offer our very selves as a fitting sacrifice to the Lord. Therefore, it is very important for us as parents to educate our children in purity and holiness. How to keep our body holy and chaste for God. It is then ask for the grace that our children to may grow up gracefully before God. Not only intellectually but also spiritually. May the sevenfold gift of the Holy Spirit descend upon our children and their future so that we as parents may set an example for them in understanding them, in correcting them and bringing them to the love and life of God. Towards this grace, let us pray. When I look into your holiness When I gaze upon your loveliness when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you. When I found the joy of reaching your heart, when my will becomes central in your love, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, I worship you. I worship you, the reason I live is to worship you, I worship you, I worship you, the reason I live is to worship you. Jesus, we thank you for the presence of the Spirit in us, in our conscience, who calls us always to do good and to shun evil. Help our children, our youth, so that may our choices may be empowered with your grace, so that we may make choices to grow in your love, in your wisdom, and in your grace. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. But dear friends, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.